Like, yeah. remember, like, remember back in the day, yeah. like, in South London, like, yeah. when I beat up that girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, was... I didn't, scene, it didn't happen, scene. guys. Yeah. Never happened. It was actually me. I come in and I'm like, yeah. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> so this is Ria et al. And you're watching Ria et Risu El. Ice water turn Atlantic. Night calling in a phantom. Told them hold it, don't you panic. Took an island, felt the mansion. Drop the roof, more expansion. Drive a coupe, you can stand. She got bitches undercover. So how's Lastonbury? Do you know what, yeah? You're the first black person that I know that I <laughs> I felt like I was the first black person that ever went <laughs> as well. But um, surprisingly, I went with like a group of, there was five of us. Yeah. And um, more joined later on. So there was six in total. But what was the purpose of you going there? So I'm a tour manager. Okay. And I tour managed for Shay Lingo, an artist. Check him out. Projecting, all these little n****s they projecting. Already knew the vibe when I stepped in. Humble on a blessing, but the sauce drip, 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 drip. So you already know where my chest is. All up in the sky where my head's been. Mic check, testing, 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 testing. Shout out to the man I never thought I would get this. Cool, safe, uh. Very wavy. Um, yeah. And he was playing three stages there. So he played yeah. PRS, he played BBC Introducing, and he played for Greenpeace as well. Nice. So, yeah, which was on all different days. So this was on the Thursday, the Saturday, and the Sunday. So we had yeah. Friday off. But oh, yeah. so, you, so you camped? Yeah, camped for oh. the four days. So yeah. what would you say about the camping experience? Did you, <sighs> what was your hair like? You know, I had yeah the same hairstyle. Okay. Yeah, like I was, I had to go with weave or braids because yeah. I was not trying to brush hair. Doing, yeah, no, I needed to yeah. be up and just ready, pretty much. But we stayed in. I will say we did cheat. We stayed in VIP camping, okay. so we definitely had showers, <laughs> and they were definitely warm. Okay. So yeah, food was on site as well. So okay. yeah, it was yeah. We only had to pitch the tent and like um, big up DJ Deluxe because he said like pitching a tent. He was one of the guys that came with us and okay. um, pitching a tent. He said it's like riding a bike. Okay. So we was like, okay, well then you're gonna do it then. And then once we laid down like the floor bit, it was like a piece of cake. Okay. The last time I went camping, I was eleven or twelve, and it was like Lake District Same. with my secondary school, and I would not have remembered. <laughs> so I was happy to have someone there that knew. Yeah. And yeah, it was it was sick. I bought my airbed. You see me, I don't do sleeping bags. So I bought <laughs> <laughs> I had so much luggage. You'd think I was going somewhere really? for like yeah. <laughs> two weeks minimum. Yeah, I had a suitcase, had my quilt, my pillow, <laughs> had my double airbed, had my fitted sheet. Oh, wow. Had oh, wow. yeah, I had so much <laughs> so much stuff. I bought like my tea bags, everything, yeah. Just things, you know, things that I just know that yeah, I necessity. cannot, yeah. yeah. If I don't Your sleep necessity. well, the day can't yeah. progress. Like, I'm sorry, it's not happening. So, yeah. so I had to be comfortable and I really was, yeah. I was surprised at the, like, array of artists that they had because I really, like, if you had asked me to go to Glastonbury last yeah. year, I would have said, why would why would I yeah. be there? But since it going there, everyone. catered for every, every taste, every age, any niche, everything, yeah. every type of artist. Okay. That you could like was there in excess as okay. well. There was like I need to explore it. That yeah, time. I would. Yeah. I advise it now. Yeah. Go after going and spending yeah. the whole entire time there. Yeah, like I mean, I don't know what you're gonna do with the whole shower situation if you don't get the <laughs> VIP camping. But yeah. in general, yeah, Glastonbury is for all. Cool. And they did cool. not pay me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so I really enjoyed it. How did you get into tour management? Um. Okay. okay so that came about. Kinda last year, earliest last year, um, one of like a close friend of mine manages Shay, mm -hmm. and um, because he has like other businesses as well, it's a bit hard for him to juggle and be everywhere at the same time. So yeah. sometimes his business overlaps with Shay's uh, shows and stuff. Yeah. So then I would I came on board to like manage the live stuff. So yeah, so I've got event management experience yeah. and that's what I do as well so yeah you remind me of myself in the in the sense that like I have so many different interests but mm. I never have time to pursue them because I'm working <laughs> I'm studying everything but you managed to do everything like in your bio you're like you're a, you do events you're a tour manager you're even an A&R yeah so like take me to the beginning like how it first started and then like branch out to all the different mm, like things that like, you kind of now. do yeah mm. <clears throat> okay so pause quickly Oh, I'm sweating. And I was thinking, let me let me get this drink. I'll grab it like in the shop. Cause then I wanna look at it like with the dick the dick straw and be like <laughs> slow zoom into yeah. the 
So, so, um, okay, the beginning at uni. <laughs> right, you ready? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's my show now. <laughs> so, at uni, um, one of like one of my boys, like one of my friends at uni, his girlfriend had like these this event, like for yeah. up and coming artists, and um. She had asked me to host it because she knew that like, I was quite, you know, bubbly, like loud yeah. and everything, and I love music. So we got on well, and she asked me to host it. Mm-hmm. So I started presenting around 2014, 2015, I'd say. Still very small. I never promoted anything that I was doing yeah. at all. Just no one, even my friends didn't know. I kind of just was going with the flow, just enjoyed doing it, meeting lots of people. And I met a lot of up and coming artists, which I stayed friends with. As years went on, I carried on presenting. Stopped presenting with her, started presenting with a few others um, here and there. Started yeah. doing YouTube, but I was quite shit at YouTube. What? Like, I wasn't. Why did you shit? Because I couldn't be bothered to edit properly. Like, yeah. I just. Yeah. The time and energy that. Yeah, a lot. People put into it, but that's I didn't I know. Busy. But I didn't know that that's how much you had to put in to yeah. edit in a video. Yeah. And the pro, how expensive the programs were. Yeah. I was like. I'm like, not this, about man. to spend £150 on a program to edit my videos. <laughs> Like, I, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I'm just, I refuse. Yeah. Just flat out refuse to do it. So I just thought, yeah, am I really serious about this? And then I know it sounds silly because I didn't realise how patient you had to be about it as well. Yeah. And how long promoting yourself yeah. was. So I can just say I wasn't ready for YouTube when I was doing it. And yeah, yeah but a lot of the videos that I did put up had like, up and coming artists like had people like Haas, Mo Stack. You know what's so sick? Like when mm. like you do all the like that stuff before when mm. you see them blah now. You, yeah, you literally have seen their journey. And yeah, that's yeah. sort of been part of it as well. A hundred percent. Like it was crazy because a lot of their songs now like probably in like the last year and a half, yeah. I get stupid emails from Universal, from really? Warner, from all the major yeah, labels yeah. and the publishers that and are like, take it down. Your, your video needs to be taken down or we blocked your video, That's we what blocked the audio. And I'm like, it. you didn't even know them when I was promoting them. So <laughs> leave it at, all right? Yeah. So, yeah. But what does it take from them? I don't understand. No, it's because I don't own the rights to the song. Like I, oh. yeah, like I can't get money from, I can't monetize on that video anymore because yeah, that song Yeah, but they shouldn't make you take rights. it down. Yeah, no, they blocked the audio. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. But all I can't, I can't get money from the video. Yeah. So like, even if the video did numbers. I get numbers, that point, but yeah, still. But that's, it's for both reasons. Yeah. yeah. So, Yeah. Like free streaming, they're not with it and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, it just gets blocked. So I did that. So presenting, did YouTube videos, yeah. uh, carried on presenting, site promoting my presenting more, um, and then I realised I enjoyed it. Is it okay? Yeah, it's good. Oh, okay, mm. I got worried. <laughs> yeah, I realised I how much I enjoyed it. Then I started yeah. meeting a lot of people, and a lot of the artists that I grew up with started making it like yeah, as well so yeah, yeah. Um, not I don't want to list them because that's just a long list mm. and I don't want to forget anyone before they come for me and in, <laughs> in the YouTube comments I know how shady I'll be so I'm not about to do that but lots of people just started like really blowing up yeah. and so um, being on their journeys with them like was really like an integral part I would say of my journey for yeah, me because it's like okay so despite me not being an artist I could also yes, be definitely. you know yeah. do something in entertainment and yeah. my, the way my school life was yeah. and like education it was so far from creativity okay. that it was unreal so like, you, you yeah. were really academic yeah okay, like I got yeah. so many A's A stars okay. yeah got one C and it's because I didn't even you know I didn't oh, even do the exam <laughs> yeah I was gonna say I didn't even do the exam I just did no I didn't do the coursework I only did the exam okay. which is why I got the C uh, okay. yeah so I scored high in the exam as well yeah. I was very like academic yeah um yeah like so because my school stuff I never thought there was you could have careers in it yeah even like when people like I knew went Brits and stuff like it was just either you were a singer yeah you were a dancer yeah or you was an actress you had like I never even creative, like, yeah direct, like, like but anything. even those three I, if you weren't those I never thought Brits would be for you like I never okay, thought yeah. you could go on it if you had like a, you wanted to be a presenter or you could, yeah. I never thought you could have like a sustainable career in these fields until much later like yeah. down the line so I'm yeah i'm starting to realize that now as well because yeah. like i love music and 
I want to do stuff around it, but not be the artist. Really. Yeah, so same. I totally get you. And yeah. I never thought, like, if you weren't the artist, the actress, or the um, dancer, yeah. that... Anyone can. <laughs> yeah, like, I thought, like, obviously, <laughs> create, yeah, like, just yeah. face your front. It's, like, it's important <laughs> Read your to, like, book. people that are in the industry that, mm. that aren't the artists to, like, kind of tell their story because there's, like, a lane for everyone, mm -hmm. like, with the passion they have and their, like, skills, they can, like, merge the two together. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you're quite bubbly and you're friendly, you love talking to people and stuff, so that makes sense with, like, you being a presenter. Mm. Even, like, the A&R and the touring as well because you can build, like, really good relationships. With the artists, but yeah. But do the work at the same time. Yeah. Like, at it, yeah. And, it's, and a lot of the things I do, like, presenting and, um, like, obviously, when my YouTube career failed... <laughs> Can we please have a moment of silence? <laughs> when that failed, innit? Yeah, because it was a hard time. Spent a lot of time editing videos, but you'd never know because <laughs> I was so trashed. <laughs> but hey, you've got to try, innit? Yeah. So, yeah. No, but like, um, I can't remember who said it, but everything you do, like in your career, whether it fails or doesn't, it opens doors for something else. Yeah, So it you did. needed that to get to where you it are It did, now, because so a, lot, a few of those videos actually got me some more presenting opportunities. So they weren't a waste of time, you know, yeah. but I would say the amount of hours like a, I it spent was on side, them. It was a side road. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not going back to that though. <laughs> yeah. Enough. So then um, so carrying on doing presenting and then I realised some of the events that I was presenting at, yeah. like I ended up doing a lot more than just presenting. Like yeah. I'd kind of do the set list and yeah. the this and the that and, you know, so I know a lot of these into, artists. Yeah, yeah. the whole... Events thing. Organising it, yeah. Yeah, but I even at 16, like, brr, rewind. At 16, I organised a prom for, like, over oh, 200 cute. people. So, by myself. There yeah. was a prom committee, and then everyone just drifted away. And okay. it just was me. And I organised it. So, I knew I had that. And I'd done, yeah. like, other stuff events-wise. Yeah. Um, but, like, mainly family and, like, friends and stuff. So, I organised, like, trips to Drayton Manor. Two coaches going straight and like tickets, everything and return, all that. So I knew I had that organization skills. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought, mm, might as well put them to use yeah. and just do, try something out. So, and then when I started doing presenting and I had to kind of be organized with that as well, I thought I might as well start my own thing. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie. It always gets to that. It always gets to yeah, that. Yeah. But I'm not going to lie. It took me more than a minute to it's even own, start that yeah. yeah because i was like deliberating are people gonna come mm -hmm. oh my god are people mm -hmm. gonna like me mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna I'm, be good. I'm not popular so what the how am i gonna promote this like yeah it was always you know like i felt like i had no uh backing mm -hmm. really like and no i guess no clout coins it's funny you say that now yeah. because that people like me and other people we're quite regulars to your show. Yeah, yeah no I know so you, but that's but that's what I'm yeah. saying like I never thought like I, I didn't consider those things yeah. I was more thinking like okay I've had about five Twitters because I get pissed off in my timeline and I just delete it yeah. so at this stage I probably had just over a thousand maybe a thousand two hundred or so yeah. followers on my personal Twitter like a few thousand across Instagram and whatever and I'm to me because I've had, like, way more than that on yeah. socials prior, like, I thought this is, like, oh, my God, like, I'm really doing this with, like, yeah. two followers. Yeah. Like, it felt like I was doing it with no... But, like, I'm promoting this to 2.5 people. Yeah. This has got to be shit. Yeah. But I did, like... I was a mentor at Capital Extras Music Potential yeah. last year. I remember year. you invited... You invited, actually, you actually invited me, actually. You put, you put it out there. Yeah, like, for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on um, the re-up vlog page yeah because yeah. that's another thing you do you put up yeah. really good like opportunities and stuff which yeah, is really yeah, good. yeah so yeah that was really interesting the sorry you explain it <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah so, okay so basically capital extras music potential was yeah. like it was um a program or project i could i could say yeah a two week long project for 16 to 25 year olds or 18 18 to 25 year olds yeah. and um we had like radio production we had songwriting and performance had music business and we had music production yeah. as well. And I was a mentor for the songwriting and performance because I'm, I'm, yeah. you know, stage and everything is like, it's pretty much what I, I know it inside yeah. and out. So I was, I did that part. And then we had like, um, to organize a show with the people that wanted to perform yeah. from not just the songwriting, but other young people that were also part of the program too. 
So we did that in Nambuka on Holloway Road. That had a massive turnout. That was yeah, great. It was like it was, it was really good. fun. And then we had one at Coco, yeah, okay. which I was part of. So I did like the backstage management for that one. So yeah, that was really cool. So it's good being part of those. And I think I found my feet and got my confidence yeah. from doing that because yeah. I was like, okay, now I've got this accolade attached to me. I got to capitalize on this. Yeah. And part of the program, being a mentor, you also got a qualification. Okay. In like, so I've got. I actually have an event qualification now. Okay. Like yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know, qualified, that you know, CV. graduated. So yeah, exactly. So I can put that on my CV as well, which is dope if I wanted to apply for like other event stuff. Yeah. So yeah, after doing that, I thought I met someone from that program, like another mentor as well. Yeah. And she was like, we should really do this. Like I would partner with you on this. Like we should just totally just, like it doesn't matter if you know mm -hmm. two people or five people, like forget about that. Like there's always going to be a market for it. Look, we know a lot of artists that want to perform. So even yeah, if you don't, that mean, yeah. you know, like, you know a lot of people, like I've been with you and I know you know a lot of artists yourself. So why not do it? So I kind of danced around the idea in my head and I thought, okay, there's no better time than now. Yeah. Fuck it, bite the bullet, let me do it. Started in October. I think I'm eight shows in. Yeah. And it's but, been a success the every show. Been, yeah, yeah, they're good, good turnouts. Like even like the... Open mic bit, you know, not yeah. open mic. You know when you get that that one or two people. Like, oh, okay, so yeah. you tried. Everyone's gonna sit. Yeah, like you wouldn't even realize that that's the open mic set. You just think that's the show. Yeah, yeah. And I literally like right now I run it by myself. Like I have um like I have photographers that I use. Yeah. I have videographers that I use, and I have um DJs as well. Yeah, but the yeah. DJs they still they apply kind of like the same as the artists. Oh, okay. So oh, that's um, really good. But I've made connections yeah. with certain ones which are like regulars now yeah. yeah so yeah so the re-up events um yeah it's a monthly event happens in box park croydon yeah hopefully i do yeah hopefully i do shoreditch and croydon soon but it just depends on my like, yeah, timing you, yeah you do, you do, you do sorry shoreditch and wembley my bad <laughs> <coughs> wembley because i do want to yeah yeah what made you pick box park though um because i had a contact for box park okay yeah so i thought okay i i'm not rich <laughs> so I can't afford to pay for the venue yeah. so I'd really like to have someone to partner with me on the venue yeah. side and Box Park were open to doing that and they Absolutely. said yeah Good. we'll give you a trial see how the first one goes and then yeah. It once we do that, then we can discuss future dates and future mm -hmm. events and they loved it, it was a great turnout yeah, yeah. it's and even nice when all like the people that are in Box Park anyway they just yeah come just come, yeah. yeah yeah. the way that Box Park Croydon is like they've got that bar so yeah. like yeah but a lot of people go to the bar and, and end like, up staying what's yeah. This? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. end up staying so yeah. Um, yeah so it's always a vibe it's a nice it's a nice vibe and I'm I'm really quite like happy with how it's turned out because it's yeah. turned out way better than I expected yeah. it to and a lot of the success from it has not even necessarily been from the re-up events. It's been yeah. from the people that I've managed to meet along the way yeah. and that have participated in the events too. So like yeah. we had, oh, it was, yeah. like That, that, yeah. One, that one actually <laughs> blew my mind. Cause like, went to your show, cool. Oh, this guy's sick. I've seen him on Instagram before. Yeah. I just put it down, I was like, oh, you're really good. Like I've seen Instagram. Next minute, you know, like the next week, my gone viral. is different to you. That yeah, was I so confusing. Was I was mad. like, I literally just saw him the other week. And that's, that's what these events do though. Like, you open up to like not open up you like kind of promote people mm -hmm. that are up and coming and then one day they just the rest of the world sees yeah. them and like I said you're part of their journey as yeah, well yeah yeah and with me I didn't want it to just be a thing like a lot of the events that I hosted in the yeah. past for other people, similar type of events, up and coming artists, yeah. or like, you know, there'll be a section for up and coming artists yeah. if it was like headline shows and mm -hmm. stuff. And um they end up being like, yeah, they perform and that's it. Yeah. You never and you never have them again. Yeah, like yeah. but I would always but stay well, connected yeah. with that person. Yeah. Like if I opened up for them, like if I'm like, you know, welcome, yeah. Rhea. Like I yeah. end up, you know, following Rhea that on the ground. Oh, yeah. came back and then he came to the headline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. But that's the thing, because I never stayed out of contact with him, it was like we then were pretty much affiliated yeah. with yeah. each other. Yeah. So he was more than happy to come yeah. back and headline. And that was when he was getting bookings, yeah. you know, for dumb so, amounts. Yeah. And he came back for me for yeah. free. So yeah. because of the connection already being yeah. there. And yeah, so it was just really nice. And other DJs as well, like a few artists have gone on to do bigger things. Other DJs, like one's now Big Tobes official DJ. Okay. One does like regular mixes for radio. Yeah. One actually headlined, um, oh sorry, I should, well, DJed 
for SL's headline okay. show the other yeah. day. Yeah, so like I stay connected with them and a lot of the artists, some of like even collaborated with each other because yeah. I, I try and promote and encourage the community. Thing, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't want it to be you just from you've performed at my show yeah. and that's it we never speak again yeah. and when they're doing their projects I still promote it on yeah. the page and I, I stay up to date with them yeah, and yeah because I just you think it's about really that the yeah. way you manage to do that yeah, really yeah so I, I try to because yeah. like I like I listen to their songs yeah. so and then I place them on the lineups that I think will be best fitting and try and have a mix on each lineup okay, actually yeah. tell me about the A&R inside of things that you do okay so that's kind of I guess yeah so I still kind of do that with the re-up events. Yeah. But for the re-up events, artists and DJs have to submit, like, a link to the email. And yeah. then I'll, like, say, yes, you know, if I think they may not be as good for my event because yeah. of the genre, maybe, mm-hmm. I might say, okay, this will be better for you yeah. because I am affiliated with other people and other, yeah. Yeah, other presenters and other um, event organisers. And if their sound isn't quite there yet or I don't feel like it's ready enough for them to be yeah. on the lineup or mm-hmm. yeah I encourage them to come to the open mic and I give them tips and stuff yeah. and tell them about different That's studios because really a lot of people won't A be there mm-hmm. to give them that opportunity or B their friends will just lie to them and tell them that they're, they're sick good. and yeah. they're shit yeah <laughs> like, I don't actually I've only ever had one shit person like ever okay. yeah like ever email me and to that person I was like okay Please let me know where, like, what direction are you going with your music? Like, I wanna. I, I said I'm intrigued because I could tell there's something there. I was lying, but I could tell there was something there, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> but okay. I, I, I know that the artists, like, yeah. you know, sometimes certain people, music is is not for you. Yeah, no, it's true. Not not even that, not even that mm. music is not for you. It's. The avenue of music you're trying to take. Yeah. But <laughs> then I found out, I was like, the beat is dope. Like, your beat yeah. selection is cold. Yeah. Then they then told me that they produce their beats. And I said, well, that... That's you. Do you know what? Yeah. That's your lane. <laughs> that I, and I And I told them about, like, this is producer link up um, yeah. event that my friend does. Like, my friend owns Shuma K, Big Up Shuma K and Khan's Hill. So they do it. And it's, like, sponsored with Link Up TV as well. Okay. And I, I told him to go to that. And he met up with a lot of other artists and a lot of other producers and yeah. he was really grateful for that as well. Yeah. So d- despite his artist venture not going yeah. well, his producer venture is going very well. Yeah. So yeah, I try and help really as best good. I can with my connections. Yeah. I'm willing to share them. Like I'm not, not every, like, like oh. A&R needs to be like in the studio with yeah. the labels. So. Like with A&R, that, that started from like way earlier, like a secondary school. I knew a lot of artists coming yeah. from Lewisham, Blue Borough, big, big, you know, big up. Coming from there, like there's just, you're just immersed with like, so yeah. much music. So kind of couldn't, you know, run from it. So from meeting loads of artists growing up, you know, link them up with other singers, yeah. say, oh, like, yeah, my friend's got a studio. They might go to studio. Oh, I know this producer. Da, da, yeah. da. So I was doing it without, like, innocently, just yeah. not even knowing. No like, way. not even getting my coin for it at all. Yeah. And then, yeah, then, like, getting older, like, like I said, I didn't know about creative stuff yeah. until, like, much later on, like, after uni. And I graduated when I was 21. So, yeah. like, 21, that's when I started to really know more about yeah. that side. Yeah. And, like, my cousin is, like, one of the managers at, up at Link Up TV as well. So he helped me, like, Joey. Yeah, yeah big up cousin Joey. Um, he helped me understand a lot more about music as well. Yeah. So from what he used to tell me, like when he was um, bringing up Hardest Bars and like he started, like, you know, building that up. Yeah. yeah. Like when he started building up Hardest yeah. Bars and everything, like he would tell me about certain things and I'd be like, oh my, oh my gosh, like, okay, cool. Yeah. So that's what that is. Oh, okay, that's what I'm doing. Uh, cool. So then I started yeah. to like do it a bit more. Yeah. And then link people up with other people that I knew, still not getting no coin. Yeah. Yeah, like still very much doing out of the kindness of my heart and just yeah. willing to see projects grow and artists like develop yeah. and stuff. So yeah. What do you what, like do you think you're gonna keep doing like gonna keep having your Finger, fingers like, in yeah, other pies? Definitely. Or is there is there like one thing that you really love and you think that you're gonna pursue that more? Yeah, no. Or, no. Like I would have to do like a, an array of things yeah. simply because I get bored easily just yeah. in life. And I just love the variance <laughs> that the music industry yeah. can give you. Like, yeah, no, I don't, true. I do not have to just I mean, do I feel like writing, mm. don't, can't bother anymore. But I yeah, like it's writing. long. I tried to. I was like, yeah, no. Yeah, I can't be able to organise events where I've done my fair <laughs> few and just stuff like that. Like, just doing different things and just knowing you can still have that same passion, but mm-hmm. like, just channel it in different ways. I think ways the fun life. is yeah. in trying them all. Yeah. So it's like, I tried a lot of things. Yeah. And then I was like, I really love tour managing. Okay. I really love events management. Yeah. I really love A and R, and I really love presenting. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do those. One of them. Yeah, and yeah. I, my blog, like I tried. 
<laughs> I tried. Like, I've got a few thousand followers on there as well, but it just, it, yeah. yeah. You know, those things, yeah, 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 this, yeah, I'm not yeah. passionate about yeah. it. And it's like, like, it's just things mm. that you can do, but if you don't have that drive behind it, then it's just rendered useless. Kind yeah, of but I'll be honest, like, I only really started blogging, like, the, even blogging was accidental because even when it was my own personal, like, Instagram, yeah. I used to just put up, like, loads of, you know, people, artists, yeah. and, and um, like songs that I thought was banging at the time, yeah. like videos or whatever. Like, oh my days, yeah. have you heard a new Blade Brown? Like, yeah. oh my days, what gigs back with another tape? Like, yeah. but these were when people, when they yeah. didn't have yeah. the accolades they yeah. have now. So, yeah. so like a lot of those up and coming up, well, artists that were then like now are like chart toppers yeah. at the moment. So, yeah. like, I used to put up those those people's stuff, and then um, then it kind of became a blog by itself. Yeah, and events as well, like yeah. music events, and yeah. I started to do document concerts. Because you know what, that mm. lesson that everyone's gonna take. From this, mm. whatever you feel like doing, just do it. Just do you it. never know where it's going to take you. Yeah, because like, it even took me places. Now, I don't know, mm. but I'm just doing it because I like I like talking to people. I like yeah. understanding their journey. I mm. like the fact that there's so many things that you can do in music. People don't know about it. So yeah, you know, you have to sit down, talk. Exactly. When it came to music, educate. I thought you'd yeah. be the producer, you'd be the artist. Yeah. That yeah, like and stop there. Yeah. Like get now, you know, yeah. years, years in yeah. being in and amongst like yeah. the music. Industry. I feel like it's really interesting in that so scene that our peers. Like people that we can look up to mm-hmm. in it as well. Like now we understand more because when we were younger, we only saw who was there to tell you. Yeah, no, no, I had no one. Yeah, I even knew people that went Brits, but they didn't do music at yeah. Brits. So I like who did I have? Yeah, like nobody. Didn't you go to an awards show recently? Did I? Yeah, you went to BET. Oh, okay, yeah. that wasn't that wasn't the, the I was wasn't like, awards show. That was a party. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how was that? What's that? Yes. Like? So do you know? Okay. So basically, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to a lot of these like yeah. industry events you'll be told like within a week in advance yeah. and stuff like just you know d- dm us the names or send us an email us the names yeah. if you're coming and like whatever and then you just go so heady one rotted me from power <laughs> that's the random yeah it was i was like <laughs> i saw him in the, in the crowd he walked past me and i was like wait is that <laughs> yeah and i was like okay whatever but yeah. yeah so like yeah and then yeah it was a lot it's a lot but i'm around because i'm around so many music people all the time yeah yeah i'm not phased i think most of the people that i would ever be phased by are dead Pretty much. Oh my god. Yeah, the only person I think that like, I would meet, yeah, and I'd be like, oh my god. And it's not because of what they've done in music. Yeah. It's just because like I just rate them so much. And it's fifty cent. I would never I would never oh. I would never ask him to borrow me a pound. Yeah. But yeah. I would be like, Oh <laughs> my gosh, I fifty cent, like ah yeah. yeah. Other other than that. Fair enough. Yeah, even Oprah I would have, but now not so much. Because oh the allegations question, and now mm. I just went out of my head. Wait, wait, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yes. I'm getting that. So, um, you said how, like, you know a lot of people music and mm-hmm. that, but, like, you also mentioned, like, not in this video, but, like, previously, mm. how it does get lonely. Yes. the Yes. Doing what I do, so I do A&R, yeah. presenting, events management and tour managing. Yeah. It, it can get really lonely because my friends, like my closest friends and yeah. like family do nothing of the sort. Yeah. Like, yeah, they... They have like time clashes. Yeah, like everything is a clash. Like yeah. when I had to go Glastonbury, I was there from Thursday to Sunday. Yeah. So four whole days that I'm off ends, like off ends. Yeah. So that's, that was a really hot weekend. It was what, 32 degrees yeah. in oh, London? Yeah, everyone was out doing yeah. stuff. Yeah. And like pissed. I was like... You know, Glastonbury. Not that I weren't having fun, yeah. but I was but working. It was work, yeah. Yeah, and like my friends were, you know, I would yeah. have been, I would have loved to have been with you my friends like, yeah. that weekend. Because that's like, like the kind mm. of memories that all of you guys are gonna build. Yeah, together. like yeah. the pictures, the fun, yeah. like the conversations. Yeah. Like I remember, I used to work at Topshop, which is where I met a lot of people yeah. in this creative industry as well. Yeah. Accidentally, like you met my, my, you met my sister. sister. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Big up Debs. Um, <laughs> yeah, so um, <laughs> like I just. You know, so from doing that, what was I, no, I, I've lost my train of thought. So, cause I missed, like, yeah, when mm. I was working at Topshop, I remember I, I wanted to work as much as possible, but during yeah. December, which is where my birthday is, yeah. you can't take any annual leave yeah. because it's Christmas uh, period and yeah. you're working in retail, innit? Yeah. Pissed, like teenager pissed, do you know what I mean? Like, and everyone, like all my girls went to Nando's. Like there was one day where yeah. I couldn't get the day off. And they went to Nando's. Until this day, they still talk about that day. So I said, like, I never wanted to miss a time out with them. So any, so now I'm like, yeah. guys, I can't do that weekend. So please don't be up. Like, I'm like, please don't be up. Because, <laughs> I, re- yeah, it really does get lonely. Like, even relationship-wise. Yeah. Like, I've dated. And when you don't date, 
Media within people. the industry, yeah. like someone that understands like your schedules yeah. and within the entertainment stuff, like it could be really hard because they they might not see you or when you're active they're sleeping. Yeah, like it's just it doesn't work. So yeah, I'm not saying dating in the yeah. entertainment industry is better. Yeah, it's just at least they understand. Yeah, <laughs> so that we don't miss you mm-hmm. and keep up with you. Where can we build our own relationship with you if we haven't already? So, because I do run the re-up underscore events by myself, yeah. you can follow me on Insta, Twitter. We do have a Facebook, but I'm not great with Facebook. Yeah, I'm not great with Facebook. <laughs> the next event is on the 24th of July, so that's 24-7 at Books Park Croydon. If you are a singer, rapper, beatboxer, spoken word artist, come through. Just bring... Uh, your instrumental on a USB roll. And if you're a DJ, aspiring DJ or aspiring artist who wants to be on the lineup, please do email us yes. at the reup events at gmail.com. Great contact, yeah. great event. Just, just everything. It's just a community, great. yeah. Great. yeah. It's lit where we be, trust. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been Re, she's been Ria. Re, uh, re and we re. out.